Now, this maple is tough stuff. Uh, mahogany, walnut, cherry even isn't this bad. Uh, if you get stuck with the grain, take you, you know, as you're coming down from the top, you can, you can wiggle the chisel a little bit. You can come in at a skew angle and kind of come in like this and then skew it back. Just, uh, you'll have to try different angles to, uh, to find the one that works best for you. Uh, but eventually you'll be able to work this stuff free. Make sure your chisels are sharp. Go back to the grinder often if you need to. Uh, and just, uh, just take your time. Don't, don't try to take a big cut all at once. Uh, that, that'll get you into trouble. Just pair little uh, thin strips away. Uh, and you'll be able to free this stuff up. I'm just going to spend some time now cleaning up the very insides of these. I've got a few little pieces left and it's probably easiest to do that from the top. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. Let's uh, make sure that the bottom fits in here the way it's supposed to. So at this point, all of our dovetailing is done. Uh, same process for making the top as it was for the bottom. One detail, though, that I didn't uh, mention is that after you get the top uh, dovetailed, you're going to go ahead and plow out a uh, dado on the back edge. And that's going to line up with the dado on our sides. And the back will slip into that. Uh, but at this point, now we've got our, our top, bottom, and two sides completed, and it's time for glue up, and, and that's the next step. Normally, after glue up, I would go ahead and work on the uh, moldings and the bracket feet, but my stock for that is not here yet. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and glue up panels for the dividers, uh, as well as the, the, this top piece here and the bottom piece. So uh, that'll be a, a chunk of work and we can finish up all the drawer cubbies and start making drawers and hopefully after that my stock will be here and we'll finish up the moldings. At this point uh, the basic box is glued up. I also went ahead and glued our two of our uh, kind of false tops and false bottoms uh, together. Now these are combination boards. Uh, the first, in this case I used probably five inches of curly maple and the balanced pine. You, literally two or three inches is all you need. That's all that will really be exposed once the drawers are in. Um, and I went ahead and glued, so I've, I've got one that basically is the bottom of this tray, this uh, dead space tray area. And then the other one goes right tight against the pine bottom. And this is just basically to build height. Our molding will cover up the pine and then this, uh, about five-eighths of this will be re uh, exposed and, and revealed around the door. Uh, so the bottom one, not much to do, just uh, cut it to fit the width of the box and glue it in place. And on the top one, there's a little bit more work to do. Uh, we're going to slide this in and we have to notch this, uh, this shelf um, right here so that uh, our joint out here matches the joint here. So we'll, I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then before you glue this in place, make sure you flip it over and cut in the two dados that we need for the vertical uh, drawer dividers. So let's slide this in place. It's a little tight. There we go. Bring this all the way forward. And then take a, uh, a marking gauge, or not a marking gauge, a knife or a marking knife like we used for the dovetails and just uh, make a cut right along the edge of the case. There we go. Okay. And, um, and then we will uh, mark in the half inch depth of this step. 
slide this block out of the way. on the other side. I'll tilt the camera down just a little bit. Okay, so we just want to cut this notch out. fits. Great. Great. Nice and smooth there. So at this point we've got this door uh, door opening completely framed in and uh, all it's left to do is cut the uh, two dados for the vertical dividers, the top two vertical dividers. And then we can start putting in all the vertical, all the uh, drawer dividers and uh, that'll be our next step.